Okay, good everyone. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us for the 2024 CONCACAF Champions Cup official press conference for Team San Luis City. We're here today with Coach Bradley Cornell. We will start with the journalists here present today. Uh, please, if you have a question, raise your hand and identify yourself and, and the organization you're associated with. And then we'll go on to those joining us virtually. We can start. Coach, uh, this is Alex Parra with the Portas Nation. Good evening. Okay. I'm fine, sir. Thank you. How are you doing? Uh, obviously not continuing in the competition. Yeah, obviously uh, disappointed uh, that we don't go through. Um, yeah, we just, uh, one of those days where, you know, you defend for your life and uh, then you get the moments that you need um, in transition and uh, the way we like to create chances. And um, yeah, unfortunately, you know, we let a few of those chances get away from us. So, you know, disappointed about that. Um, happy about the chance creation. You know, I thought we got into the box a few times and and really looked dangerous, um, you know, in those transition moments. But then, yeah, uh, the scales start to tip, you know, when you when you start losing those mom moments and uh, all of a sudden the pendulum starts swinging the other way and, and uh, you know, you go down on, on a, on a yeah, on a free kick, uh, which bounces in the box. So, you know, they're quicker to react on the night. Um, and that's the difference maker for us, you know. Um, I thought, funny, we came alive when we conceded. And then and then the game looks different again. So, um, very disappointed about, uh, about that. And, um, yeah, just uh, I know how much it means for the boys. You know, I know how much this tournament meant for the boys. So, just uh, upset about uh, not progressing. Coach, from a tactical point of view, how do you deal with exactly what you mentioned? You're you're leading going into this match, then you get down, and then I guess the team wakes up. I'm sure you didn't plan it that way. Sure, hundred percent. I mean, yeah, we know that they have two weapons on the field in uh, Kowalczyk and Kereskia. Um, we try to mitigate that, um, you know, with some game planning. And uh, one thing is to game plan; the other thing is in the action, in the practical moments, and uh, seeing how that tactically plays out. So, I thought once we, you know, changed the formation slightly and uh, operated uh, differently, then I thought we had more of a grip on the game. Um, and then we controlled certain moments uh, a little bit better. So, you know, happy with the progression of the game. We corrected things at half time. Um, and then we start again, the pendulum swinging towards us, you know, and then they get the free kick uh, and then they go up. Um, and then now we have to start chasing. So it's, it's uh, really unfortunate. I feel sorry for the guys because uh, I know, you know, the, the effort that they put in. And uh, yeah, these are new situations for us. And these are new situations for me as a coach as well. So, you know, we're always learning and we're always trying to improve and, and move steps forward, like, you know, getting one step better than yesterday. So, you know, um, yeah, upset for the fans that we don't bring another mm -hmm. Champions Cup game to City Park. Um, so, yeah, uh, we'll have to, uh, you know, delay that for another time. Have another question. We will now move on to Tom Timmerman that's joining us virtually. Please, Tom, go ahead and ask your question at this moment. Hi, Bradley. Tom Timmerman from the St. Louis Post Dispatch. Good evening. Hey, Tom. Hey there. Um, uh, how is how is Joachim, and how did that that had to be like the worst case scenario to have him going out? Yeah, we thought we could get that to half time. Um, I think there was just uh, you know some some tension in his glute. Um, he said you know nothing pulled. So again, I you know I have to check with the medical staff what's going on there. Um, but yeah, I think if you have a look across the league and across the board here, you know when you're playing these types of games with quick consecutive uh, you know days. Um, yeah, uh, everyone's running on fumes at the moment, and uh, I think we're not the only team. And so that's just uh, what we have to deal with, and uh, we have to be spontaneous and make uh, certain, you know, solutions. And and sometimes they have to be spontaneous. So you know, we made a plan, um, and again, uh, we concede from a set piece. So we could have used uh, Tim or you know Josh Yarrow, um, or especially Joachim. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't uh, well, it didn't happen that way. It wasn't meant to be. Thank you so much. If we don't have any more questions. Can I ask? Yeah, go ahead. So what was what was Tim's situation there? Was he available or in Josh's as well? Yeah, I mean, uh, Josh, um, you know, I think Tim more so than Josh. Um, but yeah, if there was a different situation towards the end of the game, 
um, where we weren't chasing the game, you know, then we would have uh, put in Tim. But uh, yeah, the the way the game progressed, uh, we thought we needed more attackers on the field, and you know, uh, got caught chasing the game. So you know, Tim was a a, a last resort uh, if we try to bunker in and do something, you know, to protect uh, to protect the game at the end. And one of those cases where, like, if Sam scores on those chances in the first half, that it's a entirely different game. Sure, we spoke about that earlier, you know, with Alex. Uh, you know, the pendulum swings one way, and if you take that chance, and then now they really have to open it up and come out at it, and uh, then we could feel a little bit more at home in, in terms of how we wanted to, you know, address the game. So you, you know, um, we're not, we're not certainly not playing the the the, the blame game. Uh, we have a look at this hard. We, we, I look at myself first, and uh, you know, we reflect and we, we you know, we re go again. Um, now the games come quick. Um, now we're fully started in our MLS season and uh, that's what we have to focus on now uh, and, and we've got a big game against New York City on the weekend thanks Brad we now come to the end of this press conference thank you so much Co Coach Garner thank you